good day students the continuation topic is frizz transmission equation so in the frizz transmission equation look out to the block diagram you have a transmitter you have a receiver the transmitter is connected to a transmitting antenna and the receiver is connected to an antenna which is a receiving antenna the transmitting antenna and the receiving antenna are separated by a distance of say r meters now there are various parameters defined in terms of the transmitter and the receiver actually the figure defines a power received over the radio communication circuit now by definition we say that the transmitter is transmitting the energy and this energy is being intercepted by the receiving antenna at some portion and it is delivered to the receiver in turn so the various parameters defined are wr dash is power received at the receiver and wr is the power at the receiving antenna terminal wt is the power into the transmitting antenna now ae is a already defined parameter effective aperture with respect to the transmitting antenna with respect to the receiving antenna aet aer gt and gr define the gain of the transmitting antenna gain of the receiving antenna as we have seen in the diagram r defines the distance between the antennas which is in meter and lambda is defined as a wavelength in meters initially we assume that the antennas is in the field of the other now if the transmitting antenna is isotropic already in the isotropic characteristics we have seen an isotropic condition means radiates equally in all directions example also we have seen sun radiates equally in all directions so an isotropic condition of the antenna is initially defined the power received at the receiving antenna can be defined by pr which is defined in terms of wt divided by 4 pi r square the meaning is the power at the receiver pr is nothing but equal to the wt wt is nothing but with respect to with respect to transmitting analysis 4 pi r square is nothing but the area so it is power per unit area then power received at the receiver now we are defining it to be wr dash which is the product of effective aperture of the receiving antenna into pr already we have the equation to be 1 and this to be 2 now substitute the equation 1 and 2 so wr dash is redefined by aer into wt divided by 4 pi r square this is one set of condition assuming the antenna to be isotropic now if i am assuming the transmitting antenna to be a practical antenna automatically there is a term called directivity included so directivity of the transmitting antenna is defined by the basic relation 4 pi divided by lambda square into AEMT AEMT means maximum effective aperture with respect to the transmitting antenna therefore for this change of antenna to be a practical condition the power received at the receiver can be defined by wr equal to wr dash into dt already we have dt in equation number 4 and wr dash in equation number 3 so wr becomes equal to W R dash I have substituted, D T I have substituted. From this equation, we can easily find out the ratio between W R and W T. To bring down this W R divided by W T becomes equal to A E R into A E M T divided by R square into lambda square. But most of the cases, A E M T becomes equal to A E T. Maximum effective aperture of the transmitting antenna is nothing but equal to effective aperture of the transmitting antenna itself so the ratio of wr divided by wt is called as the frizz transmission formula which is the ratio of power received to the power transmitted for the direct path the transmitting and the receiving antennas in direct path analysis now this equation is applied as long as the front of our condition is satisfied we have seen three set of regions out of which two are principal regions one is fresnel region other one is front of a region so the above equation is held 
for the front of our condition which states that r is greater than or equal to 2 d square divided by lambda where d is the largest dimension of each antenna. So this is the basic Friss equation. The same Friss transmission equation can also be defined using the gain parameter. By definition of gain and directivity we know that dt is equivalent to gt and the gt formula is nothing but equal to 4 by divided by lambda square into aet. So using this relation I can rewrite aet equal to gt into lambda gt into lambda square divided by 4 pi. Similarly dr this is transmitting antenna this is directivity of the receiving antenna gain of the transmitting antenna gain of the receiving antenna. So gr equal to 4 pi by lambda square aer this implies aer is nothing but equal to gr into lambda square divided by 4 pi. Name these equations as 7 and 8. Already in the previous equation 6 we have wr divided by wt equal to aer aet divided by r square lambda square. Now we are going on for substitution of equation 7 and 8 in equation 6 such that AER and AET are replaced by these two equations upon simplification lambda square is cancelled out and then GR GT divided by 4 pi R the whole square. Again I am modifying the equation as WR divided by WT which is equal to GR GT divided by 4 pi R divided by lambda the whole square and this term lambda divided by 4 pi R the whole square is called as free space loss factor. So when you include gain it means that the losses are being included. So in the first equation without gain it is a direct path there is no losses spoken. With the modification of the equation in terms of gain the free space loss factor of lambda divided by 4 pi r the whole square is being included. This gives a complete analysis of Friss transmission formula. Thank you.